Sitting in her Havana home, Rosa Baca Jiao cries as she looks at pictures of her son Yasmani Tomas. A star on the Cuban national baseball team, Tomas defected to the U.S. last year. In December, he signed a six-year, $68.5 million contract with the Arizona Diamondbacks. But because of the 53-year-old Cuban embargo, that fortune came at a price not knowing when he would see his family again. I told him, may my blessing be with you forever, your fathers, our uncles, from all the people, and we've told you this because you're a grown man that love you from the bottom of their hearts. The dirt streets of his youth couldn't be more different than the multi-million dollar facility where he now trains. Tomas, like many exiled Cuban ball players, doesn't like to talk about how he fled Cuba. It wasn't on a plane. Everybody knows how most Cubans leave. It is better not to even think about that. Most Cuban ball players defect just as last year's AL Rookie of the Year, Jose Abreu, did by boat. Abreu has the calm confidence of an emerging superstar. But even with all the money and acclaim in the U.S., he still dreams of being able to visit his homeland. We pray for that every day. I have many relatives in Cuba, my grandmother, my aunt, cousins, friends. I have a lot of people I love in Cuba whom I want to see. But I believe these laws will change soon. Abreu's prayers are as close to ever to being answered. In December, less than 10 days after Gizmani Tomas signed with the Diamondbacks, President Barack Obama announced the U.S. and Cuba would begin normalizing relations. Isolation has not worked. It's time for a new approach. While the rift between the U.S. and Cuba has stopped many Cuban ballplayers from going home, it hasn't stopped them from getting to the U.S. On opening day, there were 74 Cuban-born players on major and minor league rosters, 11 more than last year. Tomas knew when he left, there was a chance he wouldn't see his family for years, but he now has hope. The way things are right now between Cuba and the United States, I think it should be easier. Since both governments are looking for ways to have ties, I think it's easier. Of course, I would like to have my family right here with me. We showed Tomas's mother our interview with him. It was the first time she'd seen him in his new life. Her tears of loss turned to tears of joy, joy they soon hope to share in person. David Martin, The Associated Press.